For example, it misses the mark on of the better quality features Macintosh frequently promotes, as key selling focuses in products like iPad Pro 12.9 inches and iPhone 13 Pro Max. Design, perhaps of the most attractive monitor we've investigated. Three stand choices, including a VESA mount, smooth metal and glass assemble. There are various motivations behind. Why somebody would pick the Apple Studio display over a less expensive monitor and the ordinarily Apple design is one of them. This is up there with the sleekest monitors around, with an exceptionally professional look that is unquestionably impacted by the iMac 2021 redesign. It's not however fun as the iMac, and there may be no more splendid tones accessible. Yet the standard combination of a dark front and silver sides looks perfect. The clearest iMac characteristic the studio display acquires is the fundamental stand. Not at all like with the Pro Display XDR. You don't need to pay extra essentially for a stand to be remembered for the crate. Yet on the off chance that you really do have additional money accessible, you can go a little overboard for a more practical variant. Naturally, the studio display accompanies a fundamental slant stand that seems to be the stand from the M1 iMac. It slants all over so you can change the point up to 30 degrees assuming that you're attempting to stay away from glare. However, there's no level change. Apple says these stands aren't uninhibitedly client replaceable, so you can't simply go with the slant choice with updating yourself at home later. In any case, Apple stores in all actuality do can trade them. The studio display is done with, that quality you'd anticipate from a monitor that costs this much. The aluminum fabricate is a move forward from the typical plastic development of the opposition, and there's an accuracy contact. We've generally expected from Apple products like the iPhone 13 Pro. Rather annoyingly however, there are no controls at all on the monitor. No on, off switch or dial for rapidly changing settings. Nothing. Everything is controlled from an associated PC. This is fine in the event that you have a Macintosh machine associated, as you have some control over everything from either a console or system inclination. However, it hampers the Windows experience as you can't actually change or change any settings. Features Implicit webcam, speakers and mics Four back ports, including 1x Thunderclap 3 and 3x USB-C Simple one-link association There's a ton happening inside the Apple Studio display bringing about a monitor that is one of the more completely included we've surveyed. There's an unconstructed webcam, superb speakers in addition to what adds up to essentially the guts of a fundamental iPad including an A13 Bionic chipset and 64GB capacity. Try not to become too amped up for those specs however, as you wouldn't actually be aware there's install capacity and an entirely skilled chip inside. You can't, for example, stream straightforwardly to the Apple Studio display with AirPlay, nor might you at any point store records on it. All things considered, it appears to be these guts are there for programming refreshes and to assist with empowering added additional items like spatial sound for the speakers and middle of everyone's attention for the webcam. Taking into account Samsung has delivered numerous savvy monitors, including the new M8, all of what capability shockingly well without a PC joined, it seems like Apple is feeling the loss of a stunt by not utilizing those inside abilities. The implicit webcam has created very much a ruckus since the studio displays send off, with numerous commentators scrutinizing its loud, hazy picture. It is actually the case that the webcam here is just alright. However subsequent to involving it for video calls consistently, I can't say something has annoyed me. Contrasted with most of webcams integrated into PCs, the outcomes are entirely fine. I'm less intrigued with the middle stage highlight however, and feel it's undeniably more valuable on an iPad. This product highlight uses the wide point camera to basically chase after you, zooming in and out to attempt to keep you in the picture. On the iPad it works perfectly, yet I simply don't see the point on a gadget like the studio display that stays in a single spot. It doesn't help that middle stage here is slow, wandering around to attempt to find your face. Time and again on zoom calls the webcam would lose me and spotlight on something behind the scenes and afterward battle to move back to my face. The steady moving around could never have been extremely wonderful for individuals on the opposite finish of the call. On a more certain note, the speakers are great. The sound is clear and fresh, with a considerable measure of bass and a fair portrayal of spatial sound. There are six speakers altogether, with four power-dropping woofers and two superior execution tweeters. There isn't exactly sufficient bass to truly make it an extraordinary monitor for sound tuning in. However, with motion pictures and television programs, it makes for an incredible encounter. I evaluated the Apple television in addition to show establishment, and the monitor did a great job at addressing the thriving soundtrack. While many monitors incorporate speakers simply to check a case, they feel like a significant component here. 
While there is support for Windows I've had blended results getting Windows workstations to associate. A Razer Sharp Edge 17 Pro, for example, charged yet wouldn't yield a picture, and with no on-screen menus or settings open on the Apple Studio display, it's basically impossible to sort the issue. To interface a gadget to the monitor, you will require the included 1 meter thunderclap link. Simply plug that into a thunderclap port on your MacBook, and you're associated. In the event that you're utilizing a PC, it'll energize to 96 watt, and you have full admittance to the four back ports for associating peripherals. It's all extremely simple, and makes for a perfect work area as one link is all you want. I've had no difficulty at all utilizing the Mac Studio display with a 2020 MacBook Pro, with it easily transforming on and bouncing into life each time I plug the PC in. See beneath for every one of the gadgets Apple authoritatively says are upheld by the Studio display. Picture quality, comparative board to the 5 Kelvin iMac, exceptionally brilliant and variety accurate. Needs some top-of-the-line features, as HDR and high refresh rate. I've been both dazzled and disheartened by the Apple Studio display's image quality. Generally it's a fabulous LCD display, with a sharp 5 Kelvin resolution that impeccably increases Mako's and pushes out a splendid, vivid picture that is exceptionally accurate in our tests. Yet, it doesn't actually do anything new, unique or especially present day. This is essentially a similar display as the 27 inches 5 Kelvin iMac and the 27 inches ultrafine monitor from LG2 choices that have been around for various years. There's no neighborhood diminishing or little drove tech for genuine HDR, nor are there XDR levels of brilliance for specific work processes. There's additionally no 120Hz ProMotion tech, so you're left with the default 60Hz refresh rate, which surely won't engage gamers. On the off chance that you're pairing this monitor with the smaller than normal drove hauling 120Hz display on the new 14 inches MacBook Pro, then the image quality will be a touch of step down. These are features Macintosh promotes on iPhones, iPads, MacBooks and the Pro Display XDR and to see them missing from a monitor that costs £1,500 is somewhat disheartening. Apple guarantees the studio display can hit 600 nits of splendor, a large number on the off chance that you're not survey HDR content. In the wake of running a colorimeter over the board, my outcomes coordinated with Apple's case. Our believed surveys lab's results likewise showed this is an accurate display. With great scores for sRGB and DCI-P3 range inclusion, you can change the adjustment in system inclinations, with choices for explicit display presets like design and print and buddy or NTSC video. For the vast majority however, I would simply stay with Apple Display Preset. Apple has presented several distinct choices for the glass finish previously, and you can indeed pick here. As a matter of course, the glass is gleaming, and the completion will be recognizable to any individual who utilized an iMac or MacBook. Pay an extra £250 and you can change to the nano surface glass. According to this, Apple dissipates light to additionally limit glare and could be a decent redesign on the off chance that you're working in an extremely brilliant room and straightforwardly before a window. Finally, thanks for watching this video. See you again next time.